A horror atmosphere directly pulled full of the film is really how scary. Imagine, on a cold rainy night, you take the train suddenly stopped in the middle of nowhere, around the sound of hissing, watching the passengers around one by one by the monster dragged away, and you are alone in such an environment. How desperate it should be. As mentioned, the train suddenly stopped at the beginning of the film for unknown reasons, to figure out the situation, the conductor rushed off the train to check, only to find that the train had hit a wild deer, this scenario is familiar to some, encountering this thing will not be good, as expected, when the conductor tried to pull the carcass out, a sudden strange noise behind him, he just turned around to check, and an unknown creature from the woods swooped over, the passenger heard the sound and did not care but did not know that the conductor was being eaten by the monster under the carriage he was in, at this time, Joe, who was a crew member, saw that the conductor had not yet come, so he went to the cab to look for it, but did not see the conductor's figure, Joe and his colleague Nina tried to contact the headquarters for help, but the signal was interrupted because of the rainstorm, the passengers became agitated as they watched the train show no signs of leaving, in order to calm them down, Sho had to lie that the train had broken down and the conductor was repairing it, which might take several hours. Hearing this, the passengers are very angry, one of the women is to personally go to the conductor to ask a clear, so Sho also had to confess that they do not know where the conductor is. Now the passengers are completely unable to sit down, some people said to complain, some people asked for an immediate refund, In their quarrel is not open when, Adrian suddenly came forward and made a suggestion, saying that instead of waiting here, they should immediately walk to the station three kilometers away. The passengers agreed, and despite Joe's resistance, they insisted on getting off the train and walking, and Joe had no choice but to open the door and take them along the tracks. But not surprisingly, the accident happened immediately. They just walked out not long, and they heard an unusual noise from the woods. At first, the crowd thought it was just some small animals until Joe, who was walking in front, found the conductor's mutilated body, he realized that something was wrong, so he immediately told the crowd to hurry back to the train, with a gruesome hissing sound, they finally ran back to the car, but the older woman running in the back was not so lucky, she managed to climb into the car, but the suddenly closed door clamped the calf, and the terrible monster also followed. When the crowd pulled the older woman into the car, her calf had been gnawed to a bloody pulp, what kind of monster can cause such terrible wounds in just a few seconds? This scene scared the crowd. The older woman's injuries from a simple dressing, Joe rushed forward to check whether the car door was locked. But at that moment, the monster suddenly began to hit the door. Everyone immediately held their breath, not daring to make a sound. But the monster did not intend to leave. With a huge claw on the body of the ear-piercing sound, I don't know how long it took, but the outside finally stopped rattling. Joe again went to the cab to try to start the train, but the result was still no help. When they did not know how to do things, a little girl's cell phone suddenly rang, as if they had caught a lifeline, told her to hurry to explain their current situation, forgetting that the sound would disturb the monster. Before the little girl had time to explain the situation, she was dragged up by the monster and her end was predictable. Because the car window has been broken, they hastily moved to another carriages. At this time the crowd more panic, so far have not seen the monster clearly, if you do not want to find a way to counterattack, so on we will all be killed. At Ged's suggestion, they took up the tools in the carriages as a weapon to defend themselves, while the windows were reinforced with iron mesh, thinking that everything was foolproof, but they never expected. The older woman bitten by the monster suddenly had a bad reaction, spitting out blood mixed with a few lost teeth. The crowd did not understand the situation and found that the carriage was missing a passenger. After some searching, Joe found Paul in the toilet, but when Paul wanted to go out but found that the damn door could not open, Paul instantly panicked. What's worse, the monster came to the top of the car, suddenly a big thick hand directly lifted the ceiling, and launched an attack on Paul. Joe did not have time to use the key to open the toilet door, Paul, unfortunately, became the next victim. Looking at the blood gushing out from inside, Joe wanted to return to the carriage but found that the door was locked. Fucking door! And at this time, the monster had come behind him. At the critical moment, the people in the carriage opened the door in time to save Joe, and tried to block the carriage door again, but the result was unblockable. With, with the last line of defense broken, a humanoid monster appeared in front of their eyes. The face of the hideous appearance of frightened everyone. Do not know what to do. Seeing the beast open a bloody mouth and bite Joe, 
Nina decided to use the iron bar into the monster's body, but at the same time, Nina also by the monster knocked away. While the monster is not paying attention, Joe also sneak attacks it from behind. Then, everyone picked up their weapons to counterattack. The confused monster did not know which one to attack, so they were beaten to the ground by the combined efforts of everyone. I didn't expect the strong-looking monster to be so unbeatable, but soon they realized that the monster was probably a person, and the ring on his finger was the best proof, so they guessed that the man was probably infected with some mysterious virus that had caused him to mutate, and Ged also suddenly thought that when he was very young, this section of the railway track had a train derailment, when the rescue team found the train, the passengers all died strangely, their bodies without exception, all looked like wild animals had torn them, since then, no one knows what happened and whether it will be related to these monsters. Unexpectedly the words just ended, and the beast just came back to life again. The mouth also issued a strange sound. Joe saw the situation, rushed up with a fire extinguisher knocked, directly smashed the monster's head. Did not know that just screaming is the monster calling companions. More monsters are about to attack again. But soon, they found that the older woman was bitten a bit wrong. It seemed to have been infected with the virus and began to mutate. So Adrian defied the crowd and tried to solve it before she completely turned into a monster. Still, the result was knocked out by Joe a punch, but they still tied up the older woman and Adrian for safety reasons. Although the monster has been eliminated, but they do not intend to sit still. The passenger bald happens to be the engineer of the machine. After discussion, several people intend to repair the train out of here. Kate and Ged stayed in the car. Joe and Nina were in the cab, ready to start the train and the female took Matthew outside to inspect and repair the train, when Bald found the leaking oil pipe and was concentrating on repairing it. Matthew, who was on guard, heard a cry for help from the woods behind him, so he left Bald behind and chose to go into the woods alone. Find the sound of distress, he saw the little girl hanging in the tree. A monster is gnawing at her. The eyes of the man scared immediately turn and run, but there is more than one monster. He was soon surrounded by a group of monsters. The screams resounded throughout the woods, and the hissing of monsters into everyone's ears. The atmosphere of terror again. Good and the bald had to live up to the expectations of the repair of the fuel line, but at the same time the monsters also step by step. But when they bend down to look, but did not find the figure of the bald head, the original perceived danger of the bald head has been hiding under the car in advance. At this time driving Joe and Nina found the light on, so try to start the train, but just open the light to see the monster in front of you, Nina immediately rushed to start the train, ignoring the bald head still under the car. At that moment, the older woman in the carriage also completely lost her mind and turned into a monster. The rope tied to her was just like a virtual moment to break free. Kate saw this rush to help Adrian untie. Adrian watched the monster pounce on Ged. They wanted to help but were turned into a beast of the older woman, slapped away, and then slowly towards Ged. Kate, who was shivering, did not notice that the monster outside was opening the car door. Adrian reached out to save Kate, but it was too late. Then, Adrian took the pliers, ready to save Ged, but to make a fatal blow, but was slapped away by Ged and fell to the ground. Adrian was instantly confused and had to watch Ged was turned into a monster of the older woman bitten alive. At this time, the car under the bald, to see the physical exhaustion, had no choice but to unplug the just repaired fuel pipe. Soon, the train stopped again and the unknown Joe and Nina had to go to rendezvous with the others. Joe and Nina just arrived at the carriage. They saw the mutated older woman was attacking Adrian, so they decided to kill the monster to save him. However, the crisis did not end there. More monsters had come to the carriage. After hearing the noise, Joe hurried to close the carriage door, but sooner or later, the monsters broke into the door. Joe decided to open the door to escape to the woods, but Adrian attacked him from behind. It turns out that Adrian wanted to leave one person in the car to attract the monster. The two instantly wrestled together, but soon Joe fell to a disadvantage. But fortunately, Nina came to his rescue in time. But after getting up, Adrian saw that the key was still inserted in the door. And when Joe reacted, Adrian had already opened the car door and escaped. At the same time, the monster has broken into the door. And Joe and Nina are completely in a desperate situation. They can only choose to fight with them to death. When the head of the crisis suddenly appeared in the carriage, he picked up the bottle with fire and threw it at the monster, and then lit a torch to force the monster back, to Joe and Nina for the opportunity to pry the door to escape. 
Joe and Nina see this and leave him behind to run away. But the monsters don't want to give up their prey and follow them. Joe heard the sound of hissing getting closer and closer, and knew that the two would definitely not be able to leave together. So he decided to stay and cover Nina's escape. It didn't take long for the monster to catch up with Joe. And after a death struggle, Joe died in the monster's mouth. And the selfish Adrian also did not escape. Catching up with him, not only the monster but also the monster Joe. In the end, only Nina survived.